Also tonight, people suffering from a loss of sexual desire often don't know what to do about it, and they aren't comfortable seeking help. But now you may be able to get some tips from, believe it or not, soap operas. There's more steamy passion and romance on the afternoon soaps than most of us will see in a lifetime. But off screen, sex can be a lot more boring. In fact, busy couples are finding the flame may be snuffed out by hundreds of everyday worries. Oh, well, can you come with me to see Kevin's principal on Monday morning? It's a condition called inhibited sexual desire. Experts are calling it the disease of the 90s. While it's often caused by stress, sometimes it's caused by medications as well. Well, so often, when one is under stress, you end up on one medication or another, a blood pressure pill, an ulcer drug, or even an antidepressant or one of the drugs that affect your mind and mood. And when that happens, one of the ironies is that these prescription medications themselves can ruin your sex life. There's probably no more stress in Hollywood than in our own backyards, but when it comes to combining sex and stress, Hollywood is probably top of the list. Actors on soap operas face plenty of stress every day, but they don't let it ruin their love scenes on camera. In fact, there's an old acting trick that can generate passion in real life as well. And we have this little exercise that we, that's an old acting technique. It's from the Sandy Meisner School. When we look at each other and you say, you have eyes. And she says back to me, I have eyes. And I keep saying, you have eyes. And then it gets to the point where you say, you make me feel. And you say how you, the person makes you feel. I love you. Now, they're not saying we should act with one another, but by looking into each other's eyes, we pay attention to each other, and that may rekindle the sparks in your sex life. I'm not saying a word. What is next? <laughs>